Welcome to UX Army. In this video, we will show you the test creation experience for unmoderated usability testing. Right now, you're in the test creation board. This is where you create the tasks for the testers, set up optional features, preview, and launch your test. All your test creation work is essentially done here. There are four parts to the test creation board. On the top are the test level settings and controls. To the left, you will see the list of tasks you've created. Middle screen shows a task you're working on now, and this is where you write the questions, or what we call task instruction for the testers. To the right is a task settings, where you import assets like prototypes, images, websites, or mobile app URLs. Take a moment to see the different types of tasks available. Navigation tasks are available for prototypes, websites, iOS and Android app. We also provide a selection of open and close-ended survey questions. Whether a task is active for selection will depend on your earlier selection for device and main asset for testing. UX Army supports testing on devices, computer, mobile phone, tablet, and assets, design prototypes, website, mobile app. Both Android and iOS are supported. Let's create a task. Click plus and select the task type. For this example, let's select prototype navigation task to test the usability of a Figma prototype. Write the task instruction, import the prototype. We support a number of popular prototyping tools and you can always import design prototype from any other tools using a public URL. Now add success criteria using path. As we have integration with Figma, Envision, and Marvel, the expected navigation paths can be specified using visual interactions, and you can avoid re-importing the prototype every time you create a test when using these tools. You can easily drag and drop to change task order and click on the three dots to shuffle, duplicate, or delete task. Next, check your test settings. Take a moment to see the options. Above, you have the option to add screener to your test to filter out participants who don't meet your criteria. Screeners are yes, no, single, or multiple select questions that can be customized. Two to three numbers of question is the sweet spot. Once you're done, we recommend you preview your test. Before you launch your test, Go to Participants to set up your sample size. Tests will automatically close once the quota you set are met. With UX Army, you can choose to test with your own testers or with UX Army's panel of testers. Demographic criteria selection is required if you want to test with UX Army panelists. In Test Screener applies to all testers. If you want to increase the sample size, you can buy credits here anytime. Press launch. Copy and share the unique test link auto-generated by your system with your own testers. If you're testing with UX Army panelists, no need to even share the link with anyone. Just sit back and wait for the responses to flow in. Before we wrap up, let me explain to you how our free plan works. With free plan, you can collect up to two responses for free from your own testers for every test you create. And you can create as many tests as you want. This means that you can do a dry run as many times as you want. Experience your own test as a tester using the physical device the test was built for, like a mobile phone, or ask your friend for feedback. Oftentimes, if you experience your test as a tester, you'll notice things you didn't before. Thereafter, if you want to make some improvements to the test, go to the dashboard and simply duplicate the test. You'll get two new free responses for the duplicated test as it's considered a new test. But two responses are never enough for a proper study. Increase the sample size by buying additional credits from the participant page when you need it. You can also hire testers from UX Army panel anytime. Happy testing!